Okay, friends, Rhino here, and finally getting back to the circus machine. So, see from our notes here, on October 24th, 2021, we wet sanded this play field down to 2,000 grit after two part automotive clear coating. Stop sticking together. Check back some old videos for that. So, it's probably fine as an EM right now, like this. But we are gonna just do it, just to shine it up and see how good we can get it to look. So, we could have gone probably to three or 3,500 and been fine. So, what we're gonna do, we've got these polishing glazes here. So you get your buffer and you have to use a different wheel for each one of these. So this one is heavy cut seven, swirl remover here is three, this machine glaze is one. And then we got our one grand blitz wax here. Put the wax coat on. You always want to wax it before you reassemble it. That's important. Don't forget that part. And then you can wax it again when you get done. But with everything off, you're going to get it into all the nooks and crannies that you've cleaned all the wax off when you did this. So first thing we're going to do is it is, okay, thank you. 80. It is December 4th. So it has been like six, six and a half weeks since we finished this. So it's got a little dust and a little dirt from all lunchboxes crap she's got here. So we're going to take, clean it off real good. Then we're going to start with this one, then this one, then this one, and then that. But before we do our wax, after we glaze it here, we're going to take there's these brand new, I haven't even opened this yet to show you, but these are braided, where are we? Braided bits. So, on all these holes that... I don't know if these are screw holes or not off the top of my head, but for, we'll take this one for example. See, it's got um, a little bit of clear in there, which is fine, but it's also got it around the edges. So when you take a thread and screw it in, it's gonna pop, the up, pop it up. So what we do is we take one of these braided bits, that's kind of like this, for example. If you can picture it, it goes on there scars that um, clear coat in the, the about a diameter is your screw and so when you put your screw in and it's pulling up when it's trying to push down you know it doesn't crack a big chunk of your clear coat off so we're going to take those and probably do it by hand go along to each of the the holes that screws go in you know, like here or whatever. All these little holes. Get it done. And we're also going to take our Dremel, which is Lord knows where I put that thing, and go around all these holes, get some of this white crap off, and just clean them out. Especially the switch holes here. If I have one that's small enough to get in there, we may have to use like a, a little file like this just to get all that stuff out so that, you see, it doesn't stick your switch and look stupid. So, Dremel will do it a lot faster. And also, because some idiot forgot to put his uh, light bulbs in the sockets, first time we're gonna have to take a dremel and clean them all out i mean those two are pretty bad so were these ones that's from the wet sand i mean they're all pretty nasty so for next time i think we're gonna try the foam method stick it down in there like earplugs or something versus this i don't know it's hard. We're, we'll think about that. Anyway, we've talked for like five minutes, so let's shut up and get down to it. You always gotta wear your safety gear when you're doing this crap.
probably unnecessary, but you know, whatever. So this was a little tough to do, but went to every single hole and used my little 3 16th rake book, which is about as big as the screw threads, and just took the top layer off. Most of the stuff you're seeing is gunk that got built up in the holes that it pulled out, but like here, I mean, so we'll get the Dremel out and do the holes and then we'll wipe it down with naphtha and wax it. All right, I actually did quite a few things. I took my Dremel, I cleaned out all these holes, more or less, as good as I can get. I took my Dremel with a like a pointed bit, kind of, it was like straight and then it had a point on the end, cleaned out all the light sockets. You can see they're pretty shiny now, so hopefully they'll work. Um, what else did I do? I took a screwdriver and a rag and got in all the holes and cleaned out all the goo. Uh, like the, the glaze that just got stuck in the holes. Uh, I vacuumed it and that got a lot more than I thought was <laughs> it would. There was a bunch of flakes of everything everywhere. And then I wiped it down with naphtha again to get everything off as best I could. So I'm gonna give this clear coating a, a C, maybe a B minus. I need to spend more time on the holes. See, they didn't quite get all the way filled up. Some of them did. Like that one's pretty good. That one rather, still a little dip in there. You know, I got a dropper and did it, and it would have helped to like let it sit and then drop any more in there. And then I should have taken and sanded all this out to where all the bubbles were gone, and then did it. But that one is dead smooth, and it was pretty, even that one's really good. So, slow down a little bit next time and do that probably twice because all of them are kind of like that um that's really it i mean next time i'm going to use probably half again as much on each coat just to build up a little bit more and i need to do a better job of cleaning the edges because you can see it peeled up a little bit but once the end plate's on that, you won't be able to see and it'll hold that down to keep it from spreading. Uh, then this is dead smooth, but I can't tell if that's bare wood or not, because that's where it was pumped up, where the screw was. But again, the uh, rail will be right there. And like I said, when I was painting it, I didn't really paint it because I kind of like the patima whatever it is the you can tell it's there because your scars remind you the past is real and this is a 40 year old machine 
and we want to not fix every little thing like like this you know where the pop bumper hits and it's been played and it's a good machine but it's going to stop it from getting worse so anyway that's my little rant so like i say see but we'll get better this is the first time i've done this two-part automotive clear and it it turned out awesome i guess i should say once we wax it we'll see so let's do that so we applied our one grand wax there it's 241 it's supposed to sit for 25 to 30 minutes although it's pretty hot you can already see it's blazing over so let's come back it's probably just padding at this point but it's now almost 320 so time to wipe the wax off and see our results all right here is our results sun's kind of gone down so it's a little harder to see but I don't know it doesn't look as good in the camera but I can see a perfect reflection of my house back there yeah it looks a little blurry in the camera but I can see individual bricks and everything it's, it's a little wavy still but again, I think if we do more thicker coats and, you know, that'll help next time. So, uh, we're getting close. So next time we just have to put this back on our rotisserie there and clean all this crap and put it back on the play field. The only thing that could cause an issue that I saw is this. And I tried to order one from Pinball Resource, but they didn't have any. So I might have to see if he's got any in stock since I ordered it. Or I've got some old used pop bumpers somewhere. I may have to see if there's one in there that's in a little better shape so it doesn't get rust all over my damn playfield. Uh, but we did get a new body for this bumper these ones hopefully they'll clean up and it won't look too crazy with different colors uh, but we left all these yellow we'll clean them up hopefully they'll look a little better our plastics pretty good shape i didn't see any except for maybe this one that are a little warped i got a heat gun so maybe we can try and flatten that back out but this one looks okay and the others look pretty good so it's just that one that's a little warped this boy is a little warped too but we'll see so let me know what you think how you think this turned out here and we'll keep rolling we're getting close finally we can do like the man says and actually find one that works you know put it on my channel if something actually working all right, keep it real. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.